Hi there, this is Christine Collins. I am your creativity consultant, hypnotherapist, and NLP practitioner here today for you with a tip of the day. And um, today I am sharing with you some insights regarding visualization. So when you are in the process of visualizing something that you want, a lot of times when we're using visualization, we have a tendency to focus on the unique and specific details of an outcome or a scene unfolding in the way that we would like it to. And while there's nothing wrong with that, I encourage you to add on another layer, another very important essential piece to that. And that is the emotional content of that scene or that unfolding. How is it that you want to feel as you're going through that experience? Because sometimes we get kind of caught up in the details of all of the things that we would like to have happen, what we would like specifically to unfold, whether it's you know specific interaction with others or a specific outcome with our business. And there's nothing wrong with doing that. But if we ignore the emotional content, we don't always get exactly what we want. We might get the unfolding that we envisioned and be terribly upset because something else happened or perhaps it unfolded in a way that wasn't desirable and we got the specific thing, but not the emotional piece. So when you're doing that visualization, allow yourself to think about how it is you would like to be feeling in that moment, satisfied, content, excited, ecstatic, blissful, and place more of your focus and your attention on that emotional outcome that you're desiring because the universe can kind of take care of the details. And sometimes things that we think are going to make us feel really happy when they actually happen and we get them, we're really not that excited about it or it doesn't unfold in the way that we think would actually create the feeling of happiness. So when we place our focus instead on the emotional content, the satisfaction, the contentment, whatever the case may be, we're much more likely to get there. So for example, if you're envisioning perhaps an upcoming family gathering as we're preparing for the holiday season and it can be a little bit stressful and you're focusing on, well, I hope this goes this way and this goes this way, focus more specifically on feeling satisfied, content, pleased, blissful, or in some cases, perhaps just relieved when it's over. But focus on the emotional piece and you're much more likely to get where you actually hope to go. I hope you found this to be helpful. Once again, I'm Christine Collins with Transform Create, and I hope that you have an absolutely magical and creative rest of your day.